Hey everybody, welcome back. I rode to the Rockies. It's me, Jason. And Julie. Hey, today we got a, uh, it's kind of special. We have got an unboxing, bench test, and install. So, bear with me, because I had to go mobile. This is our 2021 Talon. It's a uh, limited. It's a 1000 R. And today we are installing what is this, Miss You? The Rockin' Radio. The Rockin' Radio. Now, one of the reasons we went with the Rockin' Radio, we uh, we actually looked at all of them, all your big names. And uh, while we have no sponsors and nobody's giving us nothing, and we're paying for all of this. One of the things we really liked about um, Rockin' Radio is it's American made and uh, talking to Miss what's her name? Pam. Miss Pam? Yes, Pam. Miss Pam actually helped us to upgrade to a Rockford Fosgate system. So these are six and a half inch kickers with a Rockford Fosgate head unit. It also has the six inch LEDs and the RGB lights inside of the speakers. So they change colors. Is that right? It is. And here's their telephone number and their information. I don't know if we want to give them all that until we test this thing. Mm. It'd be junk. Alright. So, uh, let's go ahead and get there. I don't know if there's any parts in there, though. Mm -hmm. We'll look at it here in a minute. So another thing that I really like doing the research and uh, you know we looked at all of them and we've all done the research everything from buying different pieces and putting our own system together to buying consoles to aftermarket all kinds of aftermarket stuff I didn't really know about this system and I had I definitely hadn't seen one put on a talon so there is one where a guy put it on an RZR, piqued my interest because of the RGBs. When these light up, my antennas light up, everything will match. Um, it changes color with them. Everything's supposed to be in sync. The one thing I really like about this is the blown plastic mold. So on our last UTV, we had the 8-inch cannons, the amp, all that. And... For riding around and being obnoxious and all that, it was great. But for just everyday listening, we really didn't care for it. It um, does come in two shipments. You'll get one shipment, and they are signature required. So be sure you got someone available. This is the mounting bar, and then the other shipment is the head unit. So what we're going to do right now before we install it, the roof's already off, the talon. I've been working through uh, mounting some rock lights, and we put these doors on it and all that. Um, I've already got a set of le test leads out. I'm in the middle of putting the second dual battery system on it with the second fuse block, the auxiliary, and the ISO down there. So I'm right in the middle of all that anyway. I've already got these test leads. I'm going to abandon that to play with this because this just <laughs> looks funner. But uh, it comes with a pack. What's in the pack? So we've got some P clamps. For mounting. Now, are those um, metal or? No, those are plastic. They're PVC? Okay. Yeah, PVC. Uh, some heavy duty zip ties, some speaker wire. What is that? Is that 12 gauge? Uh, it looks like it. Yeah. I've got some. Got a remote. Parts and pieces that are loose in here. But looks like we got lugs, screws, lock, uh, lock washers, washers, and nuts. All right. What about instructions? Uh, an owner's guide, direction for the 12 volt DC power from vehicle battery to console. They tell you specifically, make sure you hook it up the right way. And Drawing for, sure. yeah, mounting inside of the Honda Talon and then the Fosgate owner's manual. Okay. So again, this comes with a round uh, kicker is what's on their website. And when you're looking up for a Talon too, it's on there. You just got to look for it. They don't have their own page for Talon. Um, 
and I know I see more and more talons on the trail. Um, this is a really, really nice built box. I don't see any missing or loose components as, as it would have came in shipping. Looks like everything's there and where it's supposed to be. Mm -mm. They pack it pretty good too. Um, yeah, lay it down. So I've got to look at the instructions. We got to go through that. But it would appear that this bar is going to mount back there and go from roll bar to roll bar while this one mounts to your front roll bar. All right. Let's go ahead and bench test it while we got it. Okay. You want to read the instructions before we bench test it? Make sure there's nothing hinky. Hinky? Yeah. Did you say hinky? I did. You'd have to watch NCIS to get the reference. Read instructions, all right? Okay. We strongly recommend that the power source supplied to your console comes directly from the vehicle's 12 volt battery. This virtually eliminates any complications that could arise from tapping into the vehicle's. You're not going to wait on me, are you? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> red to red. Black to black. You got it. Run main power wire from the vehicle's battery to the top side of the radio. Make sure you leave plenty of wire. Do not connect wires to the battery. Use tie straps or wire loom to secure wires to the roll cage. Be sure. Okay. Let's hook up. So I'm going to cut out the middle guy here. Yeah. I went straight to the battery that we're going to use to power this thing. And I've run my test leads over. We got red to red. We got black to black. One thing I like about this is you've got a control panel with switches. Um, ultimately, this will go to a keyed fuse box. But I do like that it's got a uh, it's got its own switches. So you got light. Hmm. And they're changing. And they're changing. Hang on. Let's see. Blue. Are you playing with the remote? No, I haven't touched it. <laughs> okay, so the device is on. It powered up. No, I just want to play with everything. All the colors work. Okay. The one thing I don't, the one thing it's not coming on is the cab lights. And. Okay. So. so. That may be a that may be another ground thing. Um, I may have to ground the chassis to get get that to come on. Cause this whole thing's plastic, every bit of it's plastic. Mm -hmm. But I would have thought the fuse is good. It's got a uh, it's got another charging port right here. There's also a USB for play songs off of that. Charger. So yeah, that's cool. I ain't worried about these little lights. They're just little LEDs. Um, you know, a uh, wire nut or a, a terminal could have came loose in the shipping. It may be a grounding thing. But everything that's supposed to work is working. I am going to tear it apart and... Uh, investigate why the little lights ain't coming on but the radio's coming on the radio powered up I'm having fun with the colors and the speakers are changing colors so I'm gonna cut out here for a minute I'm gonna open this thing up and find out why my interior lights aren't working on the switch and uh, we'll be back 
we're back. So like everything I own, I've got it tore apart. Yeah. So apparently during shipping, and bear with me, I gotta get shaky. Look at her, ain't she pretty? All right. So this is the inside and we have wire failure. Now I don't know if this got done. It is soldered, so they didn't miss it from factory, but it did get missed. Um, or it's broken, I'm sorry, it didn't get missed. Looking at everything, I mean, they've, they've took great pride in everything they've done. Everything's everything's very solid. The Wi-Fi's, everything's like it should be. Um, for what we paid for this thing, it's a little disappointing. But at the same time, I mean, this thing traveled a thousand miles to get here. So, you know, if this is all we run into, it's not that big a deal. So I'm going to go ahead and fix it. Um, but you can see right here, you can see it was soldered and that it broke. So it's just a bad connection thing. Um, because of this wire is so tight and it's all glued into place, I'm not going to try to take the switch out to fix it. What I'm going to do is take my solder gun and remove all this. And then I'm just going to make another connection right here to a hard connection here. I'm just I'm going to add a piece and bring it around so I've got new new material to work with. Because the material they left me to work with is so short. I don't want to make it worse than it already is. So we're going to work through that and I'll be back. Alright guys, we back. And uh, so it was a broke wire. Uh, Miss Julie got me a solder gun out. We found some solder here laying around the shop. I want to show y'all something. This, this speaker box is put together really well. Very good quality craftsmanship. I have no issue. And I mean, seriously, I'm just going to say it. If you're one of them people where that little bitty wire derails your world because it came loose, then yeah, it might be a bad day, but I can't, I cannot put this on them. It's a very little wire. The solder, we had to remove the solder to put new solder on. The wire just broke. Vibration, shipping, whatever. It doesn't affect what I see in the overall scope of this box. It's, it's, it's very high quality build. It's a very high quality box. Very good craftsmanship. Everything's the way you would expect it should be. You know, I just it's just a broke wire. It happens. I mean, it's just, it happens. So uh, you can see here's the other side of it before I button it up. And I had no intention of taking all this loose, but, you know, here we are. So we're going to go ahead and put this thing back together. You know, I could stand over here and film it while you put it back together. You could. Okay, I'll You're help. not kind of a watch and see kind of guy, though. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so that whole process took about 15 minutes to fix the switch. And I went ahead and hooked it back up per my leads from the battery we're going to be using. And uh, go ahead and hit it. So there's your LED cab lights on now. Radio's firing up. There's the Fosgate coming up. Go ahead and light up our RGB. Okay. So everything's in proper working order. Those ought to be pretty good cab lights. Yeah, I do. Okay. So now, this is actually, once it's in the buggy, is actually going to be the rear facing. So this bracket up here is what is going to be the first thing to the front of the roll bar. So we're going to put our P2 
P-clamps on and uh, get this thing situated and we'll go from there. All right, we back. So, the box, the speaker for the Talon, the rocking radio. Um, sorry, guys. Very well built, very well engineered. I really like it. Um, with that being said, the cons are this the instructions. The mounting instructions and hardware, it's its its not bike specific. Um, I guess, I, I don't know, but it's rough. Alright, so trial and error, we had this thing in and out three or four different times. It tells you to, you know, the bar on top of the P-straps. But that's basically it. It don't tell you the P-straps go up. It doesn't tell you the P-straps go in front of the first knuckle you know none of that so there was a lot of trial and error kind of things again I'm not gonna say nothing bad about the box um, the the console itself is, pr is pretty amazing in itself I don't like the design of the bar in the back but it's nothing you know it's not a game changer um, we had the issue with the wire. I honestly think that's a shipping thing. I do not believe it's a quality issue. The other thing is the, and I'm gonna show you, I keep going back to this, but I mean, it's just, that that's the instructions you get for putting this thing in. So, you know, it, it wasn't bad. It was some trial and error. Um, make sure you got your best friend with you that way because it, it will take two of you one person can do it but this would be a bear one of the things I don't like with the top on is these are going to be zero clearance to the roof um, we're going to try it with them on but if I get some rattle or I get some you know some wind slap we're gonna have to come back I'm gonna put tape on it we also thread sealed everything um, one of the other things I want to show you right quick. So we run the spike upper doors. And the spike upper doors in this kit, they work, but they don't like it. So what we ended up having to do was basically loosen our door frame bolts. And adjust all of this because it goes directly behind this joint right here where your door frame meets the rubber door other than that you've got some uh, basically tie wraps on the talon and you know I don't know how this goes on anything else but on the talon it's a good setup because once the roof goes back on here you're going to get a sandwich effect these are protected you know it's 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 there um, I like the bar uh, and it's I mean it's it, it's sturdy it's not got it's not got no bounce or any of that uh, Julie we did hook it up back to the battery just like we did with the testing Julie will turn on our cab lights make sure they survived cab lights work there's your interior lights RGB's work is your turn them cab lights off kitten <clears throat> All right. Okay. Now I want you to notice <clears throat> where the head unit is in reference to her head, as she, like as she was riding. So she's actually kind of got to look back and up. But as far as <clears throat> your vision, there's nothing there. I will tell you the rearview mirror is going to be affected, and I didn't see an option for that on the site to relocate that rear view. But for me, I'm going to slide my rear view over to here, just like it. And all I do with my rear view is to watch the trail behind me to make sure the guys are still behind me or that some fast moving traffic, I get out of the way. So, Kitten, you want to walk through that? Sorry, I'm playing with the strobes. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so the one thing that we found out was that... Sorry, playing with the stuff. Uh, well, the one thing that we found out with a stereo was that there was an issue with Bluetoothing. Uh, I ended up downloading the Rockford Fosgate app. I don't know that that had anything to do with it, but make sure that when you scroll down, you'll see that it's calling for the Rockford Fosgate on your Bluetooth. And then from there, it'll show automatically that it pairs to your unit. And then you'll hit your power SRC button and scroll through until you hit the Bluetooth and then um, select it by pushing the turn knob. From there, you have your music. I ain't never had a pot to piss in. Welcome to country living. I'm no more 15 cents. <laughs> I will tell you. And it may be because it's right there, but it's very clear, very crisp. Which I mean, you're talking Rockford Fosgate and Kicker. Um, it's it's everything you would expect it to be. It's very loud. It's very obnoxious, even on the lowest setting, because it's literally inches from your head. So I don't believe um, I don't believe being louder than the bike is going to be an issue, especially in an enclosed buggy. I guess. Mm. So, we've been in here playing with this thing for a minute. Now, keep in mind, I'm usually the one piloting this thing. And old Widgie Digi over here, she's usually the one playing. But I wanted to show everybody on this rocking radio, it's more than just, <laughs> it's more than just a radio with some speakers i mean this this thing does it all check this out so hang on a minute so as you notice when i'm talking the lights start blurbing and doing different colors and then the, they just start flashing i've got it set up with my microphone right now so every time that i talk it's going through my phone and it's changing to the sound and deflection of your voice you notice how it never goes off that's because she don't ever quit so it'll dance with the music um, we don't have the whips installed yet but uh, it's supposed to it's supposed to sync with the whips on the RGB um, she's got it set up so it dances with the music on the radio we've got it linked Spotify um, it's just it's, re it's really neat so it goes it goes a little bit further than just a radio and some speakers um, I am going to put a shark fin antenna. Baby shark fin. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to put a shark fin antenna. One of them little bitty antennas on top. It does have an antenna connection back here. For local radio. We tried local radio station. And uh, we're in a metal shop. And I don't have an antenna hooked up. So for those reasons, I'm guessing it didn't work. Um, if it never works, we're used to it. So as long as we got the Bluetooth and the ports, we're good. But I want to take a minute and uh, show you this thing. You know, it, it can be as fun as you want it to be. How about that? The other thing, too, is I went ahead and mounted my rearview mirror. So setting in the talent, okay? I ended up moving my mirror four inches off center and it cleared the head unit. So the head unit sets down a good four or five inches below the speaker deck. So, you know, again, you know, it just took a little bit of a uh, little bit of thought process, but I just, I slid it over mm. four inches. So it's, it's really kind of like a pickup truck. It's off center, but it's where where the driver would need it. She uh, that's the last thing I need is her to have a mirror on the trail, putting on lipstick and all that. So anyway, I just want to take a minute and show you all this thing's it's really neat. So rocking radio, I'm saying thumbs up right now. When we do the uh, we're doing the rally for New Year's, we're gonna do. We'll do a re-review. 
But, uh, yeah, I'm digging it. So if you got a talon, this is a different option other than drilling your dash out and cannons hanging off the back and all that other stuff. So that's just, just another option. Check out Rockin' Radios. Made in USA, small company. We're digging it. I'm giving it. I'm giving it thumbs up. Good job, guys. Um, we're gonna put the top back on it, put the windshield back on it, and we're gonna fire up the buggy here in a little bit. We are doing a New Year's rally up in Tennessee at Winrock. Um, we're gonna ride Royal Blue and Winrock for New Year's, and after all that, we're gonna do a full review on everything we've put on this buggy. The doors. Um, the bike's brand new. It's only got three miles on it. So we're going to do a full review of the whips we used, the dual battery setup, the radio. We'll get back on here and do all that. Um, this is still our road to the Rockies. This is our uh, this is our Talon build that we're taking to the Rockies later this year. We've got like three people following me. You know, you want to hit like and subscribe. You can kind of follow us along. We ain't got no sponsors. We ain't doing nothing fancy. We just, you know, rednecks with paychecks. So, uh, hit like, subscribe, follow us. Catch you on the next one. Till then, enjoy the ride, y'all.